Hello Taurus, thank you for tuning into my channel everyone. I really do appreciate you being here with me. Today we're going to be looking at your weekend tarot and we'll see what's coming up for you Taurus. So it is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or to the cross watchers who are dealing with the Taurian. This reading can be helpful for you to see what's going on therein. So let's pull a card out for overall energy for the sign of Taurus. Okay, overall energy is the four of wands. So there is something super exciting that's coming your way. Now, this is often seen as the marriage card and the coupling up card. So I feel like if you're talking to someone or you're in the early stages of a romance, this looks very promising and it has you feeling in a really good energy. It's a lot of positivity and harmony, I feel. Like you are coming into a better stage. So if things have been dark, if things have been despaired, if you have been in doubt, it's very likely that the sun's coming out and you're coming out of that dark and depressing stage, right? You know, you've had enough of that, Taurus. You're ready for that warmth and that sun to come out again and it is coming your way. So I feel like there is hope after all here, Taurus. Now, it is a possible um, uh, outcome here of an engagement or a marriage that's coming your way. So I feel like when I see this card, I think things are, uh, are becoming more serious in a relationship and in a connection. Um, you're looking more to the next milestone, whatever that means to you, whether it does involve marriage or not. Um, the point is here, you're like celebrating a union here. So I feel like there's something that's about to happen and it's going to solidify your commitment with this other person. Let's see what it is though, especially a fire sign. It's fire energy. So I feel like it's a, it's a euphoric kind of stage. Okay, wow, you've had a few cards fall out. Definitely saw these changes. Look at that, two of cups, twin flame soulmate energy. That's reverse, so that's good. I feel like you're coming out of that nine of swords energy, which is good. And there you go. You're literally going from the nine to the six. So there's about to be a lot of changes, I feel, Taurus. Especially for those, I want to talk to those that have been heartbroken, that have been despaired. You know, I feel like the universe is telling me there's hope after all. I feel like you've been watching and waiting for something or some, some, someone to come back or something to take place here. And you still, you've been picturing your future. And I feel like the universe may just throw you a bone here. Um, and, you know, I love this because it's telling me to tell you not to lose hope in a situation, not to lose hope that your ex can change, not to lose hope that you'll find love again, not to lose hope that the person that you're with will open their heart to you, will soften their heart to you, Taurus. Um, whatever you feel needs to take place in your love life right now, there is hope for it. Don't ever lose track of that because I really feel like your luck is about to change in love. And deservingly so. Especially, you know, the growth that we're seeing for you, Taurus, from the four to the nine. That's a big jump, okay? So you were sort of sitting on things, sort of watching and waiting. You weren't really taking action. And then you're going to grow and flourish into, into that nine of pentacles and feel super fulfilled. So I feel like there's, there's something that's going to be fulfilled in your love life. And it could be like a void. It's something that you have been waiting for. It's something that you've possibly been depressed over. Um, and I feel like, you know, there's a lot of fours. Okay, a lot of fours here. And that's quite a spiritual number. It's telling me it's something about working on yourself and your perception, your love, your your role in this is really crucial. I feel like you have you are the key. You have a lot to do with what happens next, whether you're aware of it or not. And that's the wish that we're seeing, that nine of cups. So we have, we've got Leo energy here next to you. Um, but I really feel like you are celebrating that relationship, that connection. I'm seeing engagement happening for a lot of you actually, marriage. But I feel like you're just going to be in the moment. Six of Swords, you're slowly moving towards it, whether you see it now or not. It may be baby steps, but, and, and it certainly hasn't been easy like where you've come from and where you're going. 
it's still a work in process uh, progress so don't be too hard on yourself Taurus be patient um, because you know I feel like you've been through a lot um, and I feel like it it takes time and you know in this day and age we we, we can't be patient and we can't sit with our feelings and we can't just, you know, we just want to be over it and like done with it and everything. And we forget about process. And I know, I know, I know, I know it's not, you know, it's something that I feel like you'd want to rush with and just get over it. But I feel like taking the time is going to be your best option right now. And taking it slow okay definitely not to rush things but like I said I do feel like this happiness has been a long time coming okay I do nine of cups you know that's that's where your happiness is that's where your desire is and you've you've put that out there to the universe for quite some time I feel like you've been thinking these cyclical thoughts um, and you've wanted to attract a certain experience or something in particular and it's like it's, it, it's coming up here in the cards um, I feel like someone's about to do something quite big for you. I don't know if it's planned though. I don't think so. I think it's something this person is going to do on their own accord. And it's not an easy task. Um, but I feel like I see them carrying the weight. And actually coming to you. So... I mean... This is you as the Four of Pentacles. And look, all these people external to you are facing you. So I feel like there's somehow movement happening around you. I think it's happening to you, but I think I'm seeing a lot more like... You really waited to see a particular action or a particular thing from a person. And I feel like that wish has been sort of like an expectation... And I feel like that's coming up. That's what this harmony period is going to be bringing you. And I think you're deserving of it because, like I said, especially if you've recently come out of that Nine of Swords or you still find yourself in that Nine of Swords, it's tough. It's absolutely tough. It's not easy. It plays on our mind. It plays on our heartstrings. It's not an easy position to be uh, to go through and to be in, but I feel like you've survived it, Taurus. You've survived it. You're surviving it as we speak. And I feel like it's rewarded now. So just like, you know, the days turn uh, into night, the night turns into day and the sun will come out and things will go really, really beautifully here. You just have to trust the process that, that um, you're going through right now. Um, but I'll leave it there. Really, really powerful message of hope, I feel, for you, Taurus. But um, best of luck with it all. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in, liking, sharing, subscribing and signing up to membership. I'm sure we'll be in touch again very soon. So lots of love, Taurus, and bye for now.